Okay, so how do we turn this cliff, which is a nice cliff, into something more romantic and maybe something that has a bit of pop? Well, we can do this sky replacement using a time lapse and merging two clips together. So let me show you how to do this in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so this isn't a difficult tutorial. I've got one clip with these two people in a field. I'm gonna drag that into my timeline. I've also got a second clip that I'm gonna put on top of that clip, and that is our time lapse clip. As you can see, I'm gonna merge these two clips together. In order to do that, I'm gonna make them the same size. So I'm gonna press Control B on my keyboard to just slice those clips and press Backspace. And now I'm gonna choose both these clips, right click and go New Fusion Clip. Now we're ready to go into the Fusion tab. So we go to the Fusion tab. I click the top clip and I press one on my keyboard and it shows me that that is the field. So I press F2 to write field in and rename it. Then I go to the bottom clip and I notice that that's my time lapse and I'll just F2 and rename that to sky. Now we need a way to actually merge these two clips together. So press shift space bar and add a luma key. Luma keys allow you to composite a foreground image over a background image and kind of merge them together. So what we're gonna do first is also notice that we need to move the field to the green, which is the foreground. And I wanna move the sky to the yellow, which is the background. Remember, I have my Luma key selected and now I'm just looking at those thresholds at the top and you can see that the time lapse comes through and if you drag it down, the field comes through. So it's sort of merging those two layers together. However, I'm not gonna use this right now. I'm gonna carry on and I'm gonna make sure that I add a polygon first. The polygon will be used to mask out the time lapse sky over the field with the two people walking. So what I'm gonna do is just click that polygon and I'm gonna add a couple of points. And I'd like to go and isolate all those background mountains that you see. And I'm gonna close my polygon off. Now what I need to do is right click that little gray box and drop it in the middle of the Luma Kia and choose effect mask. This will isolate those layers and divide them into two different areas, if you could think of it like that. Now when I adjust the thresholds and push it up, I start seeing my clouds come through and it doesn't affect all the areas that were not in the mask, which is really useful. However, it looks a little bit stagnant. If you actually look at it, it doesn't look real. So what we can do is click on that polygon and go and add some soft edging. I can also mess around with the border width. The border width is quite important because it allows you to push that area of your mask a little bit further and it starts looking more natural. Now when we play it back, we've got a pretty cool clip. It's actually starting to look a little bit realistic. So all we've actually done is used a polygon to mask out the background, which is those cloud time lapse, over the foreground image, which makes it look kind of cool. And remember, at any stage, you can actually drag those little points of the polygon and DaVinci Resolve will automatically keyframe it, which could give you some cool effects as the two people merge together. However, there's an easier way to do that. For now, I'm just gonna click on the polygon and mess around with the soft edges. And then to do a nice light popping through those clouds, I'm actually gonna use the color tab. So in order to get to the color tab, all you need to do is click that little color workspace button at the bottom and now we're gonna try and make these clouds pop. So right now, if you don't see your open effects library, you can click on that little button at the top, open effects, and then we wanna use something called light rays. So if you go to the top and search for light rays, if you don't see it, just type in light, drag that on top of the node. Cool, we have some lights, but they look a little bit too blown out. We can adjust the source threshold by actually pushing that value up. We can also move the direction of the rays by using that X or Y position, which is pretty interesting and you can get some cool effects. So I'm pretty happy with this. The video looks a lot more heavenly and I guess cinematic now. One final thing you can do is go back to the Fusion tab, click that field and press Shift Space Bar and add a color corrector. Once you've added a color corrector, this will allow us to better color grade the field so that it matches the sky and we can add a little bit of orange into that front field. I think it came out quite nice. I hope you got something out this video. I really hope you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And see you again next time.